Welcome back guys to another mudding video. This isn't really a mudding video. I'm just saying that because we're on the mudding map. But there will be some mudding in this video. And I know you guys love it. You guys gave the last video so much love. The Monday mudding video. That, that was super fun. And all you guys, a lot of you guys from the squad. What the squad did guys is he posted a mudding video as well. And he's like, hey, everybody go over to Spencer's video and say, like, came here from the squad or, like, the squad or squad, whatever. And you guys just came in the comment section and just destroyed it. Like, so many people commented. I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. He didn't tell me he was going to do that. Um, But, it, yeah, it was really funny. So what we're going to be doing today, guys, is we have the big bud, the best of the best, the biggest tractor we can get, 12 tires, boys. Look at that beast. What we're going to be doing with it is fixing yesterday's mess, pretty much. We made a huge mess. If you guys didn't see yesterday's episode, make sure you go check it out. Monday mowing. Posted it yesterday. And we took all the tractors and just took them through the mud. So, I, I believe we have five, five or, yeah, I, I think it's five tractors that we got stuck yesterday. And we have to get them unstuck. And I thought, what a better way to get them unstuck than the good old tow bar. In the big bud. So this is going to be towing Tuesday. I know it's more like pulling out of the mud. But here we go. I don't know how easy it's going to be. I know the big bud can just like rip anything out. Here let's try and line it up. But it's still like. These are still big tractors. A couple of them are pretty big. And I'm going to try and. Oh no. no. It's hard. It's hard backing up. Because the big bud like articulates. You know like when it hinges at that point. When you turn. Okay now. Maybe go straight back. That looks good. Nope. And X. Alright, there we go. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's make sure everything's good. Let's make sure everything is good before we rip this bad boy out. So, it says that we're attached down there. Okay. Guys, look at this bad boy. What is this? This is an Owlish Chalmers. Not a very popular tractor, is it? I don't know. I really don't know a lot about tractors. You guys were telling me, like... Yeah, the Dutz is a German tractor, I believe. It sounds German. But anyway, here we go. Let's rip it out. Oh, we got the back tires. The oh, oh my. Okay, let's not turn too sharp. That's that's something that we need to be aware of is when I'm pulling these bad boys, we cannot turn too sharp. All right, so here we are. Let's pull up. Then we're going to drop her off right next to to the two tractors and plus the big bud made it out fine obviously the big bud did not get stuck yesterday um and there's no way it like really could this thing is an absolute beast we'll save that big big tractor for last that case over there boys is a beast now that'll, that'll be pretty hard not gonna lie that's like the big bud can do it but it's just gonna be pretty hard here we go here's the mud bog now that, now that john deere on the right guys that you can't even tell it's a John Deere because, I mean, it's just insanely coked or caked in mud. Not coke. Jeez, not coke. All right, here we go. Let's back her up. Oh, slow down, slow down. All right. I always have trouble getting this, like, a line. Just, I got to get it perfect. I don't know. That's something that I just want to do. Nope. It's hard because I can't see it in the mud. Okay, now let's swing it over. There we go. Okay, we're attached. It looks like we're attached. Okay, where's... Where can I, oh, I hopped out on the other side. Wow. Why are the tires spinning? What the? Okay, they stopped spinning. But there, guys, we can kind of see it underneath. Like, you can see, like, the big divots and, like, why... Guys, look at our doots. Look at that. It dug itself a hole. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That's pretty sick. Honestly, that's so realistic. You can, like... It's pretty much like this is water, and then they actually dig holes, like, in the mud, too. So, that's that's cool to see. Cool to get down there and look at. Okay, so let's start up the big bud. Turn the lights on. Let's rip her out. There. Okay, the front tires are off, and we're good. The, for some reason... I don't know. Was the was the all this chambers were the wheels turning? I feel like they were. I feel 
Because now this case, th these wheels are just like locked up, which it's not a big deal for the big bud, but it does. Uh, I don't know. I I just it, it, I'm curious. I'm curious. Um, yeah. So let's pull up. We'll drop our second victim off today, guys. Guys, we are saving everybody. I just want to come back here and clean everything up. There we go. We detached. Beautiful. Well, don't worry, big guy. We'll save you for last right there. Looks like his front end is just digging to the ground. I think that's why it's, uh... Whose pick-me-up truck is that? Oh, my goodness. But a beautiful day out here. We're going to have to plow this field up if we're going to make more videos on here. But, uh, I think our Monday... Or, this is like a tone Tuesday, but I think our Monday mowing... Monday mudding. I always want to say mowing. Um... We'll, we'll try and switch up the maps. Maybe do like some hill climbs, some stuff like that. Okay, we're going to save that Dutz for second to last. We're going to have to go through a bush here. Just smash over that bush. Okay. Just going to... There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Again, let's hop out. Make sure everything's good. Now, why is this John Deere stuck? We can kind of like... Let me see if I can kind of finesse it. Okay. So, yeah, see... See guys, that's so cool. The front tires are like halfway sunken into the into the mud. So that's that's really cool. And these these tractors have been sitting overnight, guys. So they're gonna be like there's like suction in the mud that like keeps them down. So here we go. Turn the lights on. Three, two, one. Okay, do we have a good view? Maybe here. Let's let's try this view. A little different view. Here we go. There goes the front tires. See, the tires on this are spinning. See, that's super realistic. Yeah, the tires are... Yeah, that's awesome. I really like that. We're... Guys, we're... we should buy a power washer. We're going to have to power wash this baby off. Okay. I'll... I'll have to remember that. I'll remember that for the end of the video, guys. We'll get a power washer and spray these bad boys off. I wonder if I can buy it in the field. Probably not. Probably not. I'll have to buy it, like, on the road or something. Swing tight. Okay, there we go. I didn't know if I was going to make it with our 12 tires. Look at this thing. It's like, I don't know what, what like animal looks like this. Maybe like a really, really overweight pug when it's like trying to run. That's kind of what this, this truck, this tractor looks like just because the tires are so meaty. And there's so many of them. Okay, here we go. Let's line her up. This big bud, boys. Okay, so this is going to be probably our hardest attachment point to find, I would say. So let's kind of get that upper view looking down. It says that we can attach it. Okay, we are attached. This dutz is so tiny, guys. Look at it. It is... This is crazy. Okay, yeah. See, so it completely... Every single tire is submerged. Like, look at those back tires, guys. That is... Oh, it's spinning a little bit. That's that's what we like to see, guys. Almost we should almost take the thumbnail down here. Like right here. You can't even like see the top layer. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. Okay. <clears throat> so let's hop in the big bud. Let's rip this bad boy out. Here we go. That okay, this this thing, the wheels turn too, so that that helps us. And then also look at the size comparison guys I mean this is all these wheels in the tractor build up could probably fit inside one of these wheels that's insane this thing is an absolute beast and obviously the back tractor is just like a show tractor um like an antiquer but it's just cool to to compare and like we're we're pulling it out okay let me try something guys let's hop in the duts and let's see if the duts can pull the big bud Okay, she takes forever to get fired up. But I like the noise that it makes when it gets fired up. It's like... There we go. Look at that, guys. We're just spinning. It's all-wheel drive. It looks like the front tires are spinning as well. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's let's not try that. We don't want to break an axle or rip, rip the back tires off. Okay, so let's pull her up and throw her... Somewhere. Oh, she's swaying back. She's got a little speed wobble on her. And X the detach object. 
And then last but not least, we got to pull out the case, boys. There we go. Eight tires on this bad boy. Not half as, probably half as big as Big Bud. But uh, here we go. Ooh, the Big Bud tires are getting muddy. Getting a little muddy. All right. Let's get this lined up perfectly. All right. The Big Bud's getting muddy. I guess we didn't even really go have to go in the mud too much. All right. Everything looks good. And why is this one stuck? So... Okay, it looks like the front's just locked in. The tires can't get any traction. Let's fire her up. Let's rip it out. That one... Okay, that was much tougher. Much, much tougher than all the other tractors combined. This was probably the only tractor I noticed something like... Actually, like... Like, the Big Bud was kind of challenged, I would say. Or, uh... Yeah challenge is a good word okay so what we're gonna do now guys is let's hop out we'll go to our our uh our shop section misc oh crap no where's the power washer again um, 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 um power washer power washer i feel oh placeables duh guys i'm a rookie it's like it's my first day okay place it right we'll place it right here there we go and we'll take each We'll take the big butt first. We can detach that. There we go. Tow bar's laying down in the field. Probably never find it again because it's so small. And we'll roll up right next to our power washer and spray. I'm excited to spray that John Deere off back there, guys. I don't know about you, but that looks like a fun one. Should we take this little mud in, too? Let's throw this. Let's throw this in the mud bog. Get her as muddy as possible. And then we'll wipe her off because that John Deere over there is oh that's gonna be so much fun so much fun to see it just completely coked i keep saying coke caked in, in mud and then take it all off there we the big bud there's the tires don't even go under guys and as the duds the whole entire tire tractor goes under so that just kind of proves my point that the tires on this big bud are bigger than the duds tractor like itself so that's pretty cool let's pull up it didn't get any muddier. Okay, maybe a lot of, like, tractors, you can't get any more muddy than they are. But that's not the case for the John Deere boys. All right, let's hop out. I was stuck there for a second. All right, here we go, boys. Let's get all these tires, front part. Oh, a little lag there. Okay, there we go. There we go. Get the cab window off. There we go. Inside the engine a little bit. Hopefully it starts up just fine. Oh, oh, there's some mud in there. Right. Yep. Right there. There we go. That came, that inside came off pretty good. And it looks like... Are we done? All these tires good too? Alright, perfect. How do I... Okay. Look at that bad boy. It's, it's clean. Okay, I gotta stay away from the mud. I gotta. I gotta stay away from mud. We're saving that John Deere for last, guys. We're saving... What is it, John Deere? I want to say 40, 4840. 4840. Okay, let's take the John Deere 9RX quad track. She's not super muddy. Um, and then next we'll take that case, case over there. But it's all I, I, I think it's almost one of the most satisfying things to do in farm sim, guys. Is get stuff muddy, it, muddy and having to power wash them off. That's okay. Let's get inside these tracks here. There we go. Let's get that swinging in there. There we go. Get every side. The cab, the windows, the exhaust. All the windows off. Get those good. I think we're good on there. Yep. I don't see one speck of mud there, guys. Let's tab over. Hop in the case. The stagger, boys. Stagger. That was, this is the one that was stuck. Okay, so everything is super muddy on this one. This will be a, another good one to wash off before the John Deere, guys. I'm so excited for the John Deere. That's going to be a fun one. Okay. So there we are. Right next to the power washer. Let's get the windows first. Start on top. Work our way on the bottom. Get the exhaust off. Get the wheel well good. Tires. Some lad the ladder. The hood of the engine. Make sure that's good and clean. There we go. This. Get underneath a little bit. 
There we go. Okay, inside the tires. Perfect. Looks like it's coming off real good. I think that's it for this for the case, boys. They're looking like normal, I guess. Not muddy. There we go. Okay. We'll tab over and get our last tractor to scrub down here, guys. Look at this thing. There's not one spot on it. Okay, besides the windows, which is just... It's just unbelievable that the windows did not get muddy. Look at the mirrors. Look at the exhaust. I guess that beacon up there, the orange one, is completely fine too. But anyway, here we go. It's time to give her a bath, boys. There we go. Let's get the top good. Work our way down. Tires. There we go. Get all the lights off. Okay, this one is cleaning off super quick. This is the fastest spray job and this these this this one was the filth, filthiest but cleaned off the fastest which is kind of crazy but it did get really dirty like the second you go in mud this thing is coked caked i keep saying coked but anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed the video uh another show on tuesday in the books you know i wanted to come out clean up our mess that we made get everything unstuck so that next time if we ever want to take it in the mud we can so if you guys enjoyed the video the video smash the like button make sure to subscribe guys if you haven't subscribed please please do we are on our way to a hundred thousand subs and again guys hopefully you have a great day thanks so much for watching and peace out guys see ya